This conference will now be recorded. Hello all, Ankit this side. We are getting a lot of emails from our students that they are getting this error message to them when they are trying to connect to Linux EC2 machine with the help of Putty. So in this video, I'm going to show you why you are getting this error message and how we can resolve this error message so that we are going to learn it. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Linux EC2 machine. First, let me create that one. I'm going to launch a new instance with Amazon Linux. I'm going to launch it. Get into micro instance. Go for the default one. Root one. We don't require tax. Existing group. I can choose it here, which I have used earlier. This is the one I can take it. Launch, launch. Now here I'm going to create a new key pair. And this is the name I've given it, error key. And then I'm going to download my key pair. And then launch. Now I've launched my instance. Now what I need to do is I need to generate a EPK file with the help of that PEM file. Now here you are going to do some, you are going, you guys doing some error, mistake you are doing it. How what mistake you are doing it? Let me show you that. First I'm going to show you that error message, then we'll see about the solution also. This is our PEM file. Now, if you want to connect to our Linux instance, we need to generate PPK file with the help of. So for this, we'll require PGen. I already have a PGen here. Let me open it. Load. Click on load. So this is the PIM file we check. Okay. Now, after this, what you guys are doing is you are guys clicking on generate. So I'm, right now I'm doing it, click on generate. And after it takes some time to generate, click on generate when it takes some time to generate the file here. So let we'll wait for that. Done, now click on save private. Yes, I'm giving it error e dot ppk. Save. Done. Here we are getting our ppk. Now I'm trying to connect. So for this, I'm clicking noting down the public IP. Done. Open the putty. Listing my one and SSH. Attaching my PPK file here. Open, open, accept, entering a username is to hyphen user, enter. Now here we'll get error message. It takes some time. Must see here. This is the error message which I've shown you in the image also. Let me show you again. This is the same error message which I have shown you guys. We are getting, why you are getting it? Because when you are generating the EPK file in Potigen, at that time you guys are clicking on generate. You don't need to click on generate. That is why, now I'm going to show you how actually in you need to generate the EPK file. So you will not get this error message. So for this, click on load, select your PEMP file, Okay, now directly click on save private. Don't click on generate. Don't click on generate. Click directly after clicking on load, directly click on save private. I'm clicking on save private key, click on yes. 
E1 dot E2. Opening the public. Now I'm opening the, and after opening the putty, what I'm going to do here is, is the host indication browse the another ppk file which the new one has generated this uh, error key one open open entering a username ec2 hyphen user enter now we'll see now we are able to connect now you can see here we are able to connect to our linux ec2 machine so when you are doing patching guys don't click on generate to generate your ppk this is a mistake you are doing that is why you guys are getting that error message so best of luck for your career guys thank you have a nice day